Well, our correspondent Chinwe Asundo is in Abuja and we can speak to her now. Chinwe, uh, what's the latest this hour? Yeah, for this kidnap that took place early uh, this morning, um, the police are still um, delaying on making a, a release or an official statement about what actually has happened. But from what we are, from the sources, the different sources that we have gathered so far, we know that uh, aside the 25 students that were, that uh, tried to escape during the operation, um, some other two soldiers were shot at. And also, uh, we also recall that in Kaduna lately, it's been a lot of uh, kidnapping. In this school, uh, right now, we are not sure of how many uh, have been taken away. And we are not also sure what the direction these people have taken. Because it is said that they sporadically came this morning in shooting and took away students and uh, some of the staff of this school. And we know, Chinwei, this isn't the first time that we've seen kidnappings like this in Kaduna State. Tell us what's been happening in the last few months. Oh, for the past six months, we have had so far four massive abductions in the state of um, Kaduna. Not even uh, so long ago, not even up to 24 hours. Yesterday again, we had another kidnap in the, at the National Tuberculosis and Leprosy Center in Zaria. Zaria is still in Kaduna. And it is said that uh, a breastfeeding mother was taken away, the child as well, and some of the nurses in this particular health center were also taken away, kidnapped. So this thing is happening uh, probably because of the, the monetary value that they have whenever they take their uh, captives away. Because in the north of Nigeria, it has been proved that there's been an exchange between the government and the bandits. So whenever they have uh, any kidnap or any victim, there is always an exchange of, um, of uh, finances between either the government, either the parents, or either the community. So it's, it's either the takeaway students or the takeaway um, uh, cattle or the I believe we may have lost our connection there with uh, Chinwe Asundu in Abuja. Apologies for that. I hope, though, um, you are able to gather some information about what is happening today uh, in Nigeria. We'll try to bring you more on that situation in Kaduna State uh, later on during the program.